city of Philadelphia joining New Jersey in issuing a stay at home order. Mayor Jim Kenney says it takes effect at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo live at the Art Museum. Matt, there are some exceptions. Yeah, Joe, that's right. One of those orders people not to have any social gatherings outside unless you're outside to exercise. A lot of people were doing that here at the Philadelphia Art Museum today. Still, officials urge people to stay inside. All Philadelphia residents must remain home. Philadelphia's managing director announcing the city's new stay at home order, which goes into effect 8 a.m. Monday. There's no playbook for the situation and we're doing our best in light of an evolving health situation. Philadelphians are still allowed out to purchase essential items like food or seek medical attention. Essential businesses and going outside are okay too. Walking, running, cycling, and operating a wheelchair are permitted under the stay at home order. But all public and private gatherings of any number of people outside a single household are prohibited. Meantime, food trucks and ice cream trucks are also prohibited and at restaurants. Walk in takeout orders are no longer allowed either. People can only order and pay for food online or by phone. It is definitely dramatically different. Here at Bar Huga in Fairmount, owner Stu Keener lost nearly 90% of business in the last week. Still, he supports the new measures. It's the right thing to do. I think that the officials have, have done a pretty good job throughout doing their best to try to keep us open to maybe employ a couple people, but also um, keep everyone's health at the forefront. And Philadelphia's emergency restrictions that were supposed to be over the end of the month are now into place until further notice. Joe. So Matt, do we know what enforcement is going to be like? We reported yesterday in New Jersey, they're threatening to charge people who don't abide by it with disorderly conduct. Well, Joe, Philadelphia city officials didn't really give any guidance about that, but you might remember that the non-essential order is in effect across the Commonwealth. Today, Governor Wolf said that state police will enforce that. Owners could get fines or even be sentenced jail time. We heard from the governor earlier today. Take a listen. This cannot be a government versus the individual or a government versus the business community thing. We're all in this together. There is no greater service you can perform for your family, for your friends and neighbors than to close physical locations and practice social distancing. And the governor also said that he is considering reopening liquor stores, Joe.